This was from the Comedy Cellar podcast. Uh, Noam Dwarman, who I had never heard of. I had never heard of this Comedy Cellar podcast. I obviously know the Comedy Cellar. It's an iconic uh, Greenwich Village comedy club in uh, New York City. Um, but this was hosted by Noam Dwarman, who interviewed another guy I had never heard of, Philip Bump from the Washington Post. Had you ever heard of Philip Bump? I have never heard of Philip Bump. Yeah, I had never heard of any of these people. I never heard of this show. I had never heard of any of this. Um, but this clip got a lot of play on Twitter. This was the very end of an hour and 10 minute interview in which Noam was sort of pressing Philip on the corruption of Hunter Biden and his father, Joe, insisting that there was evidence, circumstantial evidence, true, but evidence, not proof, but evidence of corruption, evidence that Joe Biden was being paid under the table out of Hunter's salary, which, of course, there is circumstantial evidence for that. And they went back and forth. For very what was, I guess, so Yes, evidence. very, very strong. Yes. Uh, there was supposed to be 45 minute interview. Apparently, they went for a little over an hour. And this is finally how the interview uh, ended in what I would call a rage quit. But it's really it's the closest the Washington Post dweeb could come to a rage quit. Right. So let's take a look how this wraps up. I agree with you that Hunter Biden's activity when Joe Biden was a, both serving as vice president and afterward, I agree that it was sketchy. I agree that it was a bad look. I agree that well, particularly while he was serving as president, he ought not to have been doing that. If it emerges in the future, which it may, I absolutely can see the what point that there may be direct evidence that Joe Biden took bribe money. That may, what that do may you come up. What do you take from the text message to his adult daughter? Uh, Hunter Technology, I have to give 50% of my income to pop. I have no idea what that means. I don't. I have no idea what that means. Well, it's, how? It's, how, do, how do you have no idea what that means? <laughs> what do you mean I, you have no idea what that means? <laughs> like, it's just, it's incredible. How could you sit there and say, well, I don't know? I don't, I don't know. No, I never heard of it. I never, I never looked at it. I didn't see it. It's like a Jackie Mason routine. It's, it's, I know it's circumstantial evidence, and you prefer that. No, what what, what could it be? I, I have no idea. But doesn't it, I don't know. Well, did, I appreciate your. Has anybody has anybody me. asked her? I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't you think somebody should ask her? Okay. Like I, I'm not. I just said I don't know, and I don't know what to make of it. So I have nothing yeah, but, to say you, about it. Yeah, what, but doesn't what do you it, want me to say? Yeah, but you say there's no evidence. No evidence. But then there's a text message where he says, "I give Pop fifty percent of my money." That's that's evidence. Okay. Well, what? Okay. Fine. So I mean, this I is so I mean, all they need is a Thanksgiving table, a turkey and some sides. And you know what it's like arguing with your liberal uncle at Thanksgiving. Right. I mean, that, that's what this says. There's no evidence. Well, what do you call a text message? That's evidence, right? Uh, yeah. OK. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know what it sure, means. Maybe, I guess. maybe we'll find out. Yeah, I guess. I love what he um, says. Maybe evidence will emerge someday as in like after the next 14 months. Right after November 2024, then we might find something out. Well, you know, well no, I mean, I mean, I mean, but these motherfuckers after 2028, and not right. even them. I mean, really, it's never. And what's tragic? It, well, well, let let let's see the rage quit. And I'll I'll give a take. Okay, all right. You have me on. It doesn't. It, that something like that. Who do you think is being more? I, I listen to that and I'm saying, am okay, I, am I, okay, what, you, you can free you, to I go. Think, I feel you want me to leave, like just walk out in the middle of this you because that way you can you like can, You can go. Right, is right. this a standard really? This is the way the Washington Post <laughs> handles people who disagree yeah, when with I, them? Yeah, when I agree to be on for 45 minutes. Go, go, And then go. I get on for an hour and 15? Yeah, go, that after a while go, I go. Go. Thanks go. for having me. All right, that's it. And go. Right, okay, so let me, right. let me just play this one more time because he says, "I feel like you want me to leave." I, I listen to that and I'm saying, "Am okay, I? Am I? Okay, what, you, you can free you, to I go." Think, I feel you want me to leave, like just walk out in the middle of this you because that go. way you can. Like, was you was can was right, Noam being hostile there? Not really. I didn't think he was no. being hostile. I mean, no, he, and he was very patient. I listened to most of this. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I will admit, but I did listen to most of it. He's very patient the whole time. Right, he doesn't explode on him. Right, he doesn't call him a hacker well, or an says, asshole or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I saw a longer, a longer clip, and he's uh, and he keeps he keeps going back to that. Like, well, I feel like this was an ambush. You haven't offered any evidence. He says, "Well, w w every time I I offer evidence, you you shut me down. You you know, <laughs> right, yeah, you say it's was not being evidence, very, right? You say <laughs> it's not a, it's not a, well, and that is what it's like to argue with these people. But oh, how 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 ironic and revealing." that this guy is from the Washington Post. This is, this is like you sat down with Woodward and Bernstein in 1974 and you said, 
So you don't think there's anything funny about that break? And I, there could be. Maybe. I, I don't know. Possible. Maybe. I'm not saying it was a great thing. You know, I, I'm, you know, not, I'm not saying I, it, it looks it, great. It looks a little It, does, shady, it doesn't you know? look great for the administration. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, that's not, I don't know anything about it. I don't maybe know Maybe something will come out, you know, maybe in 1979, 80, 81, something like that. Later you know, on. maybe, maybe something later will come out, on, you write a book And then I'll it. be all over it once exactly. it's acceptable to talk about it. Exactly. Exactly. Once, once it's no longer challenging power, uh, you know, I, I, and that that's what struck me watching this. Uh, it, well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're a fucking reporter. <laughs> right. Isn't it your job to go find out like this whole pose of like, well, what do you want me to do about it? I don't <laughs> right, know exactly. anything. <laughs> right, exactly. I, I haven't looked into it. Well, you should. Right. Right, like you're a like fucking the point reporter. Of the conversation is for this guy to kind of communicate to you something he's concerned about. That hey, you know, you might want to look into it. No, there's nothing there. Well, there's there's this evidence here. Well, that's circumstantial evidence. That's not direct evidence. Okay, but that's that's evidence of a kind. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so don't you think there might be something there? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I mean maybe someday we'll learn more. Like you don't like right. it's election right. season. You so, don't think and, now and would how, be the time how would that, learn how more? would that happen? Gosh, it would be great if we had reporters to look into it. Right. So right. that we could find out what happened. It was also interesting that he smeared Taibi there. He says, oh, he has an agenda. He doesn't explain what that agenda is. You know, part of his agenda is to point out that fucking hacks like you have taken over the news business and destroyed its reputation. That right. that's, that's a big part of his agenda, and I'm sure you don't like it very much. Right. People who not only have shit opinions, but that that's really not even the point. The point is, whatever your opinions are, you have to have an interest in pursuing stories, an interest in pursuing right. truths, uh, no matter where those truths lead. In this case, I mean, it, the case is as open and shut as it could possibly be absent a smoking gun. I mean, it's it's very obvious Hunter Biden would be nowhere near any high paying job if it weren't for his father. And so now you have text messages that say, I got to pay my pops half. And then you got the 10 percent for the big guy. I mean, it's as obvious as could possibly be. What are we supposed to believe? This guy doesn't know that he's never heard of that. Like the level of gaslighting is amazing. And this applies not just to this issue, but all these issues. Like I said, you can cite evidence and facts and data to back up whatever claim it is on whatever subject doesn't matter. You get the same exact reaction, which is that. Oh, come on, you're crazy. Oh, well, all right, maybe you're not. Maybe there's something there, but whatever. I don't expect it to be a factor in the election, right? Because it's not right. a factor in their mind. As you say, well, yeah, well, maybe this is true, but well, it won't, that, it won't well, do anything. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what the media has reduced it all to. They've reduced it all to horse race. You know, right. if, you, if you go back and you look up, up through the 80s, I actually I have a book up here, but it's probably, uh, you know, it's so old, I wouldn't recommend it because it stops to early but it really gets into how cbs was destroyed because cbs at one time was the gold standard of television journalism um 60 minutes you know all of that uh they would produce all of these documentaries and uh, you know they're really acclaimed and the story of how cbs fell is really the story of how american journalism fell um when they had that wall between profit and news, news was free to go be news. Once they started looking to it for profit, that's when it stops being. You go back and you look at election coverage in the 70s, you know, yeah, they'll talk about who's probably going to win. I mean, because that's interesting, but not that way. Not in, not in this way that they do now. Like, they talk about policy. Well, his uh, policy on the Middle East may hurt him. And, the, you know, they'll talk about that. It's not it's not that. Well, you know, when he went up on the stump in New Hampshire with all the graphics and shit, that's when they started bringing that in. That's when they started bringing graphics and quick right. editing and trying to get people oh, to yeah, watch yeah. it. Yep. But uh, they had to start selling some sizzle. Right. And th this is what Taibbi talks about that, you know, guys like Bump, is he lying not really probably not he's the product of a system that favors hacks because right. if you actually have integrity you don't get this job at the washington post you don't move up in the ranks you're not doing this interview you wind up at the gray zone you know you wind up at common dreams you don't wind up with this gig and that that's what taibi talks about he says there there's nobody who comes to you and says you better not report that but people can see who gets promoted and who doesn't.
get promoted. Exactly. They get they can see who gets an assignment and doesn't get an assignment, and it creates an incentive structure that favors fucking goons like this. Please clap. 